Tucker, drop it. Good job. Okay, get it. Hey everybody, it's Amber here from Positive Development, and today we're going to talk about how to get your dog to drop anything out of their mouth willingly. All right, let me paint you a picture. I come up to you and I ask you, hey, can I see your wallet? And you think, sure, Amber seems nice. She can have my wallet. I take $100 out of your wallet, run away from you. The next time that I come up and ask you for your wallet, I guarantee you, you're not going to give it to me because I just broke that trust with you. This is the equivalent of a dog who has their toy. You come up to them, you take their toy from them, and then you don't give them anything back. Do you have a dog that either grabs an item and runs away from you or hides from you when they get something in their mouth or growls over items? The reason why is because every time that you are taking their wallet, you are taking $100 out of it and not giving anything back. So really quickly, they are learning you're not to be trusted. So instead, what you can do is let's say that your dog has $100 in their wallet and instead of just taking $100 out, ask them to take the $100 out but immediately give them $100 back. So if you're taking a tennis ball from your dog, give them back a tennis ball as a reward for dropping that item. If your dog is chewing on a bone and they're having a great time, rather than saying drop it, give it to me, ask them drop it, give them a piece of chicken and give them the bone back. So an example would be they have $100 in their wallet. You say, hey, can I see your wallet? Instead of taking that $100, you put another $100 in their wallet. The next time you ask for your dog's wallet, I guarantee you they're gonna throw it at you and say, yes, please, here, take my wallet, because every time you go up to them, you're building this relationship of trust and, oh my gosh, I love Amber because she gives me free money. <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of people will try this at home and they'll ask their dog for their $100. So let's say that your dog's favorite thing in the entire world is a tennis ball. All right, so they have their tennis ball, they have their tennis ball. You come up to them with a rope toy and say, hey, can I have your tennis ball? You can have this rope toy. How would you feel if I took $100 from you and gave you $50 back? Not so happy, right? But your dog loves their tennis ball, $100. I come up to you and say, hey, can I have that tennis ball? Would you like a Kong toy filled with canned food or a big hunk of chicken, I guarantee you they'll say yes, take it anytime. So what you're creating here is a strong reinforcement history. You want your dog to see you coming when they have an item and get excited. Look forward to when you come up and ask them to drop things. If you always are taking things away from them, pretty quickly they're going to hate when you come up to them when they have things because they think you're always taking it from them. Rather, Ask them for their item, give them something better, and then give the item back to them. Your dog will learn that dropping items for you was the best decision they ever made because they get a reward and they get the thing they had back in the first place. Now you don't always have to give them something better, but once you've built up that strong reinforcement history, pretty quickly your dog's going to learn, well, it's okay if she doesn't give it to me this time because I know next time she might, so I'm going to continue giving her my items because I have a feeling she's got something better and I trust her. That's the kind of relationship I want with my dogs, not drop it or else. I want my dog to drop things for me because they trust me and they say, sure, take whatever I have, I trust you, you can take it. If you guys have any questions about how to get your dog to drop things, how this whole wallet thing works, please comment below or send me a message. I'd be happy to help you out with that. Now, if your dog shows any resource guarding or running away when they have items, please um, contact a professional trainer, contact me. I'd be happy to help you. That is not something you should be handling on your own. All right, guys. Well, happy training.